Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I explain to you how to prevent a specific domain user from deleting any folder or file on a specific partition, and also prevent this user from adding any folder or file on the same partition. For example, this user is called test1, and I want to prevent him from deleting any file or folder on drive D, I will open the D drive. And you will find that user test1 already has permission to delete folders. Now try deleting the folders. They have already been deleted. In some companies, you may need to prevent a specific user from deleting any folder or file. Therefore, I will now learn about the steps by which a specific user can be prevented from deleting folders. And now, I will go to the server. Learn the steps to create a GPO to prevent this user from deleting files. Open Server Manager Dashboard. Then click on the Tools menu from the top of the page. And from the menu, click on Group Policy Management. After opening Group Policy Management, go to the left side and right click on Default Domain Policy and from the menu click on Edit. And they will add a GPO called Default Domain Policy so that it applies at the domain level as a whole. So that this user is banned on all client computers. Then maximize Group Policy Management Editor window. Then, go to the left side, and under Computer Configuration, expand the Policies folder. Then expand Windows Settings, and expand Security Settings, and then click on File System. Then right-click on the other side, and from the menu click on Add File. From the Add File or Folder window, you can select the location, in which you want to prevent the user, from deleting files, or select a drive, such as Drive C or Drive D. Here I will choose Drive D, and click the OK button. This will open the database security for D drive window. From here, you can specify all permissions for this user on Drive D. Click on the Advanced button, and then click on the Add button. Then click on Select a Principle, and type name of the user for whom you want to specify permissions, on Drive D. Type Test 1, you can click on the Check Names button, to specify the exact username. After selecting the user, click Show Advanced Permissions, to view all available permissions. Then at the top, click on the drop-down menu in front of the type, and select any. Then from Advanced Permissions, remove all permissions for this user, except for the Delete permission, and the Delete subfolders and files permission. And click on the OK button, then click on the Apply button, and you will see a confirmation message to save these changes, to the domain users, click on the yes button then click on the ok button and you will find that the user has been added and does not have any permissions then click on the ok button then click on the ok button you can close the group policy management editor window close all windows and then go to the client computers then open the d drive and you will find that the user still has the permission to delete the folders you can now update the group policy via the command or restart the computer Open command prompt, and type the command that appears, in front of you on the screen, to update the group policy. After updating the policies, you will find that protection has been shown on deleting folders, and thus this user cannot delete any file, or folder on drive D, from any computer joined to the domain. Even if this user logs in on another computer, he will find that he is not he has the permission to delete any folder, or file on the D drive. He also cannot create a new folder, and he cannot modify any file. And if you want to return the permissions for this user again, go to the server again, and right click on the default domain policy, and from the menu, click on edit. Then open the same path. And then right click on the D drive, that was added, and from the menu click on properties. Then click on the edit security button, then select the user called test1, and from the permissions, select full control, to allow him all the permissions again, if you want that. And click on the OK button to save the changes, and then go to the client's computer again. You will find that the user still cannot delete folders. Open the command prompt, and type the command that appears in front of you on the screen, to update the group policy. After updating the policies, you will find that the user's permissions are as they were, and he has delete permissions for folders and files. I hope the video is useful to you. And thank you for watching. And I also hope to subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.